Alright, so I finally got a hold of some building battle boxes from Lost Origin, if I can get it in the frame here. <laughs> um, these usually come out for shipping, at least, a little later than the actual set releases, even though game shops get them before the set comes out. It's a little strange. I don't get it. But uh, the important thing is, I'm going to try to make sure, see if I can get all four of the promos that come out of these boxes. But more importantly, see if I can't get that uh, alternate art Giratino. Or Aerodactyl. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Welcome to Casual Cards. My name is Ben, and yeah, we got some more Lost Origin open because it's a great set, honestly, and I don't mind opening it at all. Um, but we got these uh, nice build and battle boxes here, as you can see. Now, uh, these come with four uh, Lost Origin booster packs, as well as a one of four promos and then like a little uh, pre-configured booster pack of cards they're just used to kind of create decks um, on the fly usually at a game shop with uh, whatever you get so we have one two three four five six kind of hard to see Whatever. Six boxes. <laughs> build and battle boxes. And a build and battle stadium. Which comes with more build and battle boxes, more packs. Altogether, I believe, um, I'm going to have 36 packs to open, so a full booster box. Which is a kind of weird coincidence. I actually didn't plan it that way. But, you know. Whatever. So like I said, um, I'm going to get right into these here. And the real reason why I get these is because of the special promos inside. Now sadly, yeah, they are, um, there's four of them, but they're random, so I have a bad habit of getting three out of the four, even though I get like eight boxes. That's usually just how it goes. <laughs> so first one is a comfy... Promo. As you can see, it has a little Lost Origin stamp right there. These uh, pre-release kits always have those on the promos, which is pretty cool. And these are special arts too. It's not like there's just a, you know, another card like this without the stamp, and you know, it's not also. They actually made new art for them, made it the promo, and gave it a stamp, and it comes with a little pre-configured, you know, pack of cards. I'm not gonna open those up because they're mostly just commons and uncommons. Four packs, boom. Uh, by the way, these also retail for, I believe, $20 US normally at game shops, but online you can probably buy them much cheaper, at least right now. So if you do want these, I recommend buying them online. So we'll get this out of the way here. Open the next one. And yeah, I actually don't know which promos are in these boxes. I usually uh, try to keep those a secret so I don't spoil myself. Sometimes they're pretty cool. There's usually one or two of them that are... Uh, Pretty cool Pokemon, and some that just aren't. Next we have a... Ooh, a Gengar, see? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you go from a... A Comfy, as the promo, to a really awesome looking Gengar. Look at that. This is probably the Chase promo, if I had to guess. Awesome. Well, we got two of them so far. Four more packs. A lot of trash because these just generate trash. Let me go ahead and cut all of them real quick just to save myself some time. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened all these up, removed the plastic that is, so it'll be a little faster. Let's see what we got in this one. We have, I'm just gonna put it upside down first. Let's see what we got. Another comfy. This usually happens. There's always one promo that I get like four of. <laughs> And I never get that fourth one to get a full set. More packs. Next one. Come on, something I don't have already. It's a. Oh, here we go. Finian. Cute little fish. Very basic. Just got a water gun. <laughs> and a little ability there. 
Very nice. We got three out of the four. More packs. More trash. Next one. Come on, give me the fourth one. Whatever it is. Oh, yeah. You know, if I'm gonna get duplicates, Gengar is not bad to get duplicates of. Oh look, more packs. <laughs> Probably open the packs at a uh, pretty brisk pace, too. Okay, last box of the uh, loose boxes. Can we finish it here now? Oh, another Gengar. <laughs> okay, well, maybe it's the Gengar. It's a super common one, which is unusual. But you know what? Gengar's cool. Four packs. Boom, boom, boom. Right now, for the build and battle stadium, so there's still a chance for me to get that whatever it is, the last one. Go ahead and open this up. Build and battle stadiums are essentially just a fancier uh, elite trainer box, honestly, with the uh, build and battle, you know, promos and whatnot. Cool boxes, though, they are definitely different from the standard ETB boxes. So inside we have some dice, kind of hard to see, I apologize. Uh, we got four loose packs right here. Boom. Two more build and battle boxes here. And then a, uh, a gigantic energy brick. This is just all energy, so we're definitely not opening that up. <laughs> there we go. Two more boxes. I believe these are the same dice that come in every box, just like white and red. Pretty basic. Cool though. Alright. Got my pen to open these next two up here. I know I'm very disorganized, I apologize. Get you, open you, boom boom. Okay. One box. Okay, two more shots. Can we get that last promo? I hope so. I really do. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth here. Comfy. Bummer. Only one Finian so far, too. Four more packs. At least we have a lot of packs to open. I've had both good luck and bad luck with these uh, build and battle boxes for pulls, so... Kinda hard to tell. <laughs> Alright. Here's the actual last promo. Can we get the last one? I hope so. <sighs> okay, so it definitely was the comfy. That's the most popular one. Again, I got four of those and three Gengars and I had eight chances. Thought it was pretty good. Happens every time. Well, we got 36 packs to open here. All right, so let's get into these packs here. I got a bunch of them. Of course, yeah, we still want that Garatina alternate art. Or the Rainbow Rare, I think there's one of. I have the gold card. Love that Aerodactyl too. And just go straight through them. There we go, Grelith, Shellis, Shuppet, Corsi. Definitely something shiny in there. Makuhita and Colress's Experiment. I believe I pulled this one recently. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> a rainbow Ray is a rainbow rare. Because again, these are absolutely random packs. Um, you know, usually with a uh, booster box, you're a little more, you can kind of expect a certain amount of pulls, but then like, you know, a range. With these, they could be nothing. They could be a lot. But that's a good start. Even though it's one I already had, but you know, whatever. Uh, Rainbow Rays or Rainbow Rare. <laughs> and we got Snover, Bronzor, Gumi, Bionicle, uh, Rhydon, and Porygon Z. Alright. Go from a Rainbow Rare to a regular Rare. just how things go, you know? 
Right. Zorua Seal. Rockruff. Ducklet. A Manectric. And a Pidgeot V. Back to an Ultra Rare again. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, it's a great start so far. Three packs, two Ultra Rares. Kidding me? Take that all day, every day. Next. Phalanx. Poliwag. Oddish. Growlithe. Sneasler. Okay. And... Okay. Rainbow Rare Magnezone V-Star. I'll take it. <laughs> wow. Um, four packs, two Rainbow Rares? And that one had a Sneasler too, even though those aren't super crazy, but... Huh. Well, either we've uh, used all of our luck already, or these are going to be some crazy packs. Hopefully it's the latter. <laughs> and there's just a Rainbow Rare in every box. That'd be insane. <laughs> Phalanx, Poliwag, Gligar, Binacle. Aerodactyl V-Star that just keeps on coming, I guess. Man. Crazy. I need more sleeves. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Face cam. Yeah, um, almost every pack's had an ultra so far. Absolute insanity. Started off super strong. Well, too strong, actually. Porygon and a Kingdra Hollow. Okay. Still a Hollow. Only had one pack with no Hollow in it. So well, that's cool. <laughs> Alright. Next. Machop. Pikachu. Adorable. Jinx. Litwick. A Basculin Politoed. No Trainer Gallery card yet. Which is weird, but fine, because we've pulled plenty of Ultra Rares to uh, make up for it. <laughs> Still missing actually quite a bit of those. Mostly the, uh, the higher rarity ones, like the Vs and the... Uh, never mind, there's one right there. Parasect. Actually, I think I need this one. So, that's cool. Bunch of bugs. <laughs> Spiders and such. But yeah, the um, like the full art trainers and the like the V Maxes and the V's for the trainer galleries. I'm missing almost all of those. Only pulled a couple of them. Still. We're doing good. Murkrow. Shop it. Wormple. Tynamo. A Magirna. And a Comfy. See, I, I've had plenty of you, thank you. As you can see, whoa. the art is different, although it is the same card. So, just a different version, uh, art-wise. Same effects, same ability, all that good stuff. Sometimes the promos are different, sometimes they're the exact same. I think I prefer it to be all the same, that way you don't have to get like a special box just to get that one card. It kind of just gives you an easier way to get that one, I guess, if you want that one specifically. Dugong, and a snail. Alright, this first little stack is done. It's been really good so far. Two rainbow rares, which is already more than a booster box normally gives you. <laughs> We're only like a third of the way done. A lost vacuum. Found it. Honchcrow. Okay, these packs feel a little different. The uh, the wrappers. Might have been the ones out of that build and battle box. Paris. Inke. A Basculin. A Jinx. Ooh. Wind up arm. Electros. Okay, definitely had a bit of a dry spell. Let's see if we can't pick it up here. 
Pikachu. Some more, uh, you know, trainer gallery cards would be nice. Electric, a Gudra, and a Kingdra. Getting a lot of Druz. They're both kind of dragons. Ugh, although I don't like Gudra. Just, I, I do not feel like it's a dragon. <laughs> it's up there with the Alolan Executor for me. It just doesn't... It don't, it don't feel right. <laughs> a Finian, a Seedra, and a Magnazone V to go with our V-Star. Alright. Finally got another Ultra Rare. Yeah, these wrappers definitely feel different. They're much harder to open, too. I wouldn't say much harder, but they're definitely more difficult. They're a little, like, um, slicker, I think. It'd be the right way for it. Get less, uh, to grip on. Oh! <laughs> well, there's a trainer gallery card. The gold Mew VMAX. I definitely don't have this one yet. Or the Pikachu. So, I'll take this one, for sure. Beautiful, beautiful. And then a comfy. <laughs> That's okay. The double hit packs are nice, but it's nice to also space them out. It's, so, you know, sometimes you get a uh, trainer gallery card, sometimes you get a nice ultra rare. So, love it. Didn't have that one. I'll take it. So, already have a couple cards, which I didn't already have. In the higher rarity slot. Poliwag. Got a Gligar. Gumi. Mawile. Squovit. Mimikyu. Okay. Haven't seen you in a while. Next pack. Yeah, this was a uh, booster box. I'd be happy already. But we're like halfway through. <laughs> a bomb and a Trevenant rare. Or hollow. Of course, not rare, but. But kind of rare. Boop. I would love that Pikachu VMAX from the Trainer Gallery, the non gold one. Looks amazing with uh, red slash ash <laughs> in front of it. Toolbox and a Hoopa. Weird Pokemon. I don't recall what game Hoopa's from, what uh, generation, honestly. I never caught it. I remember seeing it on a card and I was like, I don't recall you being a Pokemon. Where did you come from? And I played all the games too. I like I've, I skipped one. I've actually played all of them. I just totally missed that one. Radiant Guard of War. Very nice. I think that's the best one of the three. Boop. Ain't a Dugon. I had to uh, rearrange a little bit. I'm a little too crowded up here. Alright. Next. Phalanx, Plywag, Gligar, whoop, Gumi, Mawile, Boss's Orders, full art from the Trainer Gallery, I believe I need this one too, so that's great. And a Zoroark V-Star Rainbow Rare. Couldn't talk there for a second. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Getting three Rainbow Rare so far? These packs are incredible. Okay. Now that was a double hit pack I'm okay with getting. So the nice full art boss sorters with uh, Lysander or Lysandre, whatever you want to call him. I think Lysander sounds better. But this very nice Rainbow Rare Zoroark is very good. Very, very nice. Yeah, um... I don't know if it's just me, but uh, these are uh, very lucky packs. <laughs> so maybe there's something to these build battle boxes here. Three rainbow rares? Three? And I needed two of them. Radiant Sneasler, okay. Ariatus. Sure, sure. Kinda hard to follow up that last pack. That was a good one. It needs to be the Giratina, though. We went th the alternate art. Any of the three. I think there's also a Rotom, which I would definitely take as well. I have the Galarian Berserker. Electros, and okay, I did not summon you, sir. It's <laughs> <That's> weird. <laughs> sure, sure. 
like it heard me. Weird, right? Obviously not the alternate art, but still, it's strange. Okay, we got a duck, doge, some snails, a spook, rock rough, and a bird. Dumb bird. Goofy bird. Next. Okay, all right. Meanwhile, Shellus, Bionicle, Oregon, Thinian, Lampet, I'm off. Alright, last stack of packs here. We've definitely gotten plenty. Plenty, plenty of pulls. A lot of quality ones, too. Not just like all of these, like, you know, we got the full art, we got the numerous rainbow rares. Trainer Gallery cards, a Glass Score, a V Star card. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> Boop. Okay. Pseudo Udo, Love Disc, Gligar, a Wurmple, another Radiant Gardevoir. Neat. Hey, look, a Zoroark. Okay. I believe Zoroark and Giratina are the best uh, Vs in the set, so I will definitely take these. Hands down. I assume they're probably pretty good for the game, I had to guess. Getting plenty of Radiant cards too. <laughs> like what, four or five already? Murkrow, we got a Horsey, a Plipbug, and a Clefable. Knocking things over here. It's a little off screen so you can't see it, but uh, there's a bit of an avalanche. A card lanch. Poke lanch. Ligatone. Slugma. Clefairy. It's a lot of text on there. Uh, Spiritomb. That's cool. Spooky. And our carrier. I'm not sure if I have Spiritomb. I think I do, but. There is a chance I don't. Cool looking card though. Got that one crazy eye. Okay, we're nearing the end here. Plenty, plenty of pulls. Very happy with this opening here. I believe last time, I think, uh, what set was it? Um, Astral Radiance, those packs were not good to me. <laughs> At all. Gudra. A Vile Plume Hollow. Well, hello there. You're adorable. So, glad to see we turned it around here. I know it's probably just random, but... I feel like every other set, I get a lot of good pulls. I feel like blue on that one. Electric, Love Disc, Flygar, a Wurmple, Electric, and a Parasite. You're a bug. <clears throat> Parasite insect makes sense. It's the mushroom. It's controlling them. Okay, mine foo. Polio. Ghastly. A duck. Zorwa. A hoopa. Giratina V Star. Excellent. I did not have this one yet, so I will take it. Plus it's Giratina, so, yeah. I believe this card is very good. <laughs> so, excellent pull. <clears throat> no complaints at all. At least it was another full art one. I've pulled three of those now, which is actually ridiculous. Like, I'm, it's a cool full art, but I don't need three of them. <laughs> one of those could have been the alternate art, and I would have been much happier that way. Pikachu, Phantom, simplest card ever made. Hook. That's it. <laughs> Paris. S spiders. There's a lot of a lot of bugs in this one. Jeez. I don't like it. Don't like spiders. 
All right, we got C dot, Slugma, Tynamo, Litneo, a Mine Fu, Orion Z, and a Clefable. No, I don't need you. I got plenty of those. All right, we got like three packs left. Can we get one more solid pull? If not, um, fine. I've honestly gotten plenty. This is a booster box worth of packs, and I've definitely pulled more than a booster box worth of pulls. Nice. Reverse Skengar. Another Berserker. Well, it's an Ultra Rare. I actually used all the sleeves I pulled out, which is crazy. Didn't think I'd need all those, but... Arceus said, you can get all the pulls. I was like, okay, I mean, I'll take them. I'm not going to say no. Yeah. Who am I to turn it down? All the shiny cardboard. Growlithe, uh, Growlithe again. And a stone journer. A lot of fighting types there at the end. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> I will do the pack trick because it's the last one. I should do that now. I'm trying to make it a thing, you know? One, two, three, four. Just to make it official. A lady. A slegu. Electric. A jinx. A makuhita. Bronzor. A phalanx. Oop. Okay, fine. Pulling <laughs> back. We got a Snorlax from the trainer gallery, which is pretty cool. And the last rare is Machamp. It's a hollow, so you know, not bad. And Machamp's cool. But yeah, we got the Snorlax, so that's, you know, a thing. Now it's time to see what we got in this mess here. Okay, so we have 15 poles altogether, including trainer galleries, which is actually on par with that, uh, first booster box I opened, but these are actually better quality, so this is better than a booster box, <laughs> which is insane. So we got a Pidgeot V, Magnezone V, Galarian Berserker, times two, Zoroark V, got uh, some Trainer Gallery cards, we got a Parasect, Spiritomb, and a Snorlax. We have the Full Art Boss's Orders from uh, Trainer Gallery. We have a Aerodactyl V-Star, and a Giratina V-Star, which is very nice. <laughs> and then we have a, uh, a Mew V-Max uh, gold card from the Trainer Gallery. We have a Rainbow Rare Colress Experiment, Rainbow Rare Magnezone V-Star, and the Rainbow Rare Zoroark V-Star. Three. You're lucky to get one per box. I got three out of these random ones. So, needless to say, these packs were very good to me, as you can see. Um, let me know if you've opened these boxes yet, if you've had, you know, good luck, bad luck, same luck. I'd like to know. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you can, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you already haven't. And until next time, take it easy.